Get ready for some action-packed Demon Slayer goodness as the Swordsmith Village arc finally makes its debut in the latest season of the anime. Season 3 Episode 1 starts off right where we left off, with Tanjiro and his gang successfully defeating the demonic siblings Daki and Jitaro. But there's no rest for the wicked, as Musen summons the rest of the Upper Moons to Infinity Castle to discuss their next moves. The dynamics between the Upper Demons are nothing short of interesting, with each member showcasing their unique personalities and motivations. Upper Moon 2, Doma, tries to show affection towards Upper Moon 3, Akaza, by placing his hand on his shoulder, but the tattooed demon is having none of it and delivers a powerful punch to Doma's face. The tension between the demons only continues to rise as they discuss the recent events, with Musen announcing the arrival of the higher rank 1 demon, much to Akaza's surprise. Despite the news of Jutaro's death, the Upper Moons are surprisingly calm and collected, with Doma expressing regret over his failure and wondering what punishment Musen would impose. However, the legendary demon surprises them all by rejecting any form of penalty and instead, demanding that they all focus on their respective missions. Meanwhile, Tanjiro wakes up to find his sword broken and his comrades gone. To make matters worse, he's informed that he needs to visit the elusive swordsmith village and find the legendary swordmaker, Hataru. Security is of utmost importance in the village, so Tanjiro is blindfolded and carried there. As soon as he enters the village, he's greeted by the pleasant aroma of hot springs and the chief of the village, Tekken, who's known as the best swordsmith in the community. While waiting for Hataru to return, Tanjiro runs into the love Hashira, Mitsuri Kenroji, who's taking a bath in a nearby spring. Mitsuri is intrigued by Tanjiro's presence and strikes up a conversation with him. As they talk, Tanjiro discovers that Mitsuri joined the Demon Slayer Corps because she wanted to marry a man who could defend her and be stronger than her. In the meantime, Jenya Shinazugawa, the younger brother of the Wind Hashira, Sanemi, appears and refuses to engage in a conversation with Tanjiro. The episode ends with Tanjiro searching for Hataru in the forest and running into two people, one of whom is the Mist Hashira, Muchiro Takedo. The Swordsmith Village arc is just getting started, and we can't wait to see what happens next. Thanks for watching, drop a comment below and let us know what you thought of the episode. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thrilling Demon Slayer content.